thing is insanely fast. Wow. I love it. Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Salas and in this special edition we have an unboxing from Halfbreed Blades. Well, it's more like a crate. This thing is huge. They reached out to me asking if I was interested in trying out a couple of their blades. I sent them a few options I was interested in. This looks like way more than that. So a big thank you to Halfbreed Blades for making this video possible and sending in a box of goodies. In this video, we're gonna get a live unboxing, share with you my honest first impressions of some of the gear that they sent out. And hopefully you're inspired to add some to your everyday carry, outdoor adventure, or next emergency mission. If you're new here, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so that way you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your own gear. With that being said, let's cut into it. All right, so here we go. Happy Blades is based in Australia, so this had to get through a lot to get here. The only thing I took off was the shipping information, and helping me get this unboxed is the Daily Carry Co. Titanium Max Light knife, and it's like super fidget friendly, super fun. All right, here we go. They did send over a packing list. I'm gonna do my best to reference that so you guys get the accurate description, but I'll make sure to drop links down below of where you can get these blades and the exact details with more specifications. We have a box inside of a box. And another box. Alrighty, here we go. Ooh. All right, first up, I like the packaging. I like the logo, half breed blades. And did you notice how I did that towards the camera? That's the sign of a professional right there. So you guys can see it first. Nice, we got some paperwork. Oh, look at that. All right, hang on. I'm going to be responsible and open the package the way it was intended to be received. Got a sticker and what else? Got a patch. Love that. Business card and some information. I love that they put this in there so that way you know what you're getting. So this is the CCK02. It's a compact clearance knife. I love that. It's a compact clearance knife. Why? Because you're clearing space, baby. This blade's made from K110D2 with a 59 to 60 Rockwell hardness, Teflon coated, Tonto point, G10 handles, weighing in at 4.5 ounces. Overall weight, oh, I love how they included that with the dimensions, because some people just say, oh, the knife weighs this much, but what about the sheath? This has both. So total package, 6.45 ounces. Wow, okay, let's check this out. I'm also gonna do my best not to make a complete mess, but it's inevitable. Whoa, this thing is thick. I love that Tonto blade and how robust this is, but it still has a hollow grind to it too. And that is wicked sharp. Oh yeah. All right, so when I saw the photos of this online, I thought the ring was a little bit interesting looking. It kind of looks like a heart or a shield. But when you get it in your hands, your thumb actually caps right on top of there perfectly, allowing for those repeat thrusting activities for clearing your way. And most of these like ring dagger style blades only allow for repeat popping, but because it has that thinner hollow grind, I feel that you can actually use this for EDC and utility cutting tasks. So that's really cool. It also has this little sub hilt here. So even if you wanted to grip it in a forward grip, you can certainly still do that with or without the ring. And it gives you a lot of options in a pretty compact package. Nice, let's check out the sheath. Yes, thank you Halfbreed Blades. Thank you for doing that. Trainer, yes, I preach this all the time. Have a trainer and look at how clean that packaging is. Oh yes, wow, great retention on the sheath. They even matched that, oh wow, okay, this is nice. So they have a trainer, so you can practice all your Kung Fu techniques and then switch over to the lat blade. I love this for practicing deployment. This is nice. Now, my one thing initially is that this comes down and they mimic the hollow grind on this. Good that they do that for weight and balance, but maybe in the future, a thicker edge because that's gonna hurt if you pop someone with that. But at least it's not razor sharp and they better block that. Overall though, that's really cool that they have a trainer option. And I wonder if you can, <sighs> perfect. So same sheath, I wonder if it's ambidextrous. It is, yes. So you can pop this in either way. Super streamlined sheath. Look at that, that is beautiful. And it also has like a tech lock style mounting option. Pull the dot tab kind of thing. They have the dots mounting option, which locks it in so that way it's not gonna come off your belt. Well done. This one's big. It's cool that their logo actually helps you prevent from opening the package during transit. So we love that. Mm. 
the energy that I'm getting from this package after a little quick peek makes me want to raid a shit, baby. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek too so you can see what's coming. Okay, so I'm so excited right now. We got some more information, certificate authenticity, care package. The next item is officially called the LBA-01. It is their large breaching ax. Did I call it or did I call it? Breaching ships. It says the action, like what it's meant for, an ax slash penetrator spike. This is also made from the K110 D2 steel with a 55 to 56 Rockwell hardness. So I believe that's gonna give it some more flex on those heavier impact strikes. G10, this thing weighs in with an overall weight of 44 ounces. So it's thick. I can't wait to fondle this. Look at it. I mean, look at that packaging. This looks like something that you see on like John Wick's wall, right? I mean, come on. Yes. I haven't even unlocked it, but just yes, yes. Yes, I'll look at down here on the bottom. It has like a pry bar so you can get in there, unlock your Fruit Loops, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's check this out. So it has that pull the dot tab. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Boom. Yeah, I like that a lot. You bam, 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 bam. Mm. So it also has a kind of sheath, which is nice. We're gonna do some deep breaths. Enjoy the moment. This also has the dots clip, so you can slide this over your molly, your belt, backpack, wherever you're mounting it. And I love the added retention with that half breed blades with the dot tab. Mm. But look at this ax. So this also has that G10. The handle is phenomenal. It might look rounded on camera, but it has this oval shape to it, allowing it to not twist in your hand. The grip is not overly excessive. It has that right amount of balance. And the weight on here is fantastic. Beautiful beard right here for hooking, raking, and popping open your canteens. The spike on here is not razor sharp, which is ideally for me what I would prefer because a lot of the times if you're hitting something hard, it's gonna be dented anyway. So why not have it be a force multiplier, cracking open crates. You also have that thing on the bottom here so you can get in there. This, this is like an apocalyptic blade. In the package, they also give you one of those other dots tabs so you can mount it and configure it a variety of different ways. That thing's not coming out. And also, I don't know if you guys hear this, Exactly, there's no rattle. The sheath fits perfectly. And even without the pull the dot tab, the only thing rattling is the dot tab. That's secure as heck. That thing's wicked, man. This is like an extraction tomahawk demo breaching. I would keep this in my car for those emergency purposes. Super thick steel. I'm excited to test this out. Let's go. Wow, that's sharp too. And to put it in, usually on all tomahawks, you kind of go spike first. Same thing here. Listen to that snap, baby, let's go. Let's see what's next. All right, now we're switching over. The other box, padded mailer. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, we got a skull and cross half breed blades patch. And we also have, <laughs> this is probably one of the coolest patches I've seen. I could be wrong. It looks like a tactical koala because these guys are from Australia and it looks like an angry bear. That thing is wicked. It's got the ax on there, that Tonto hitter. That's a wicked cool patch. We also got some more stickers and their catalog. Now that is an epic lineup. And it goes on the back too. Some nice reading material for later. All right, let's go for a smaller one. Opening it up, we have their logo business card, some stikers. This was one of the items that I was really curious about. Right there, this is the CKC-01. This is, and it stands for their Covert Key Companion. It's a contactless touch glass breaker key ring, PVD coated, 420J2 stainless, tungsten carbide, overall weight coming in at 1.83 ounces. Look at that, they even have that built-in little hitter right there so you can lock it onto your keys. Perfect for travel and inconspicuous environments where their conventional tools may not be operationally sound. But look at that, it also has that carbide glass breaker on there so you can break a window, use it as a force multiplier. I like the serrations on here so you can get in there and add a little love marks to your thang. Yeah, and it has a bottle opener, so of course it's a functional tool. Mm-hmm. Super lightweight, robust, comfortable to really squeeze onto, and that is definitely gonna leave a mark. And I like how it protrudes above the knuckles, so you could definitely do some push-ups on there if you had to, which is a good indication that it's gonna be pretty strong. And I don't know if you saw that, when you open up your hands, it also stays locked in, so you can use and transition to other tools. And I have a funny feeling that if you had a whole bunch of things on the end of this, you could also use it as like a flail if you had some keys on there or other items. But yeah, that is wicked. An excellent, less lethal impact device to add to your everyday carry. That's a winner. All right, next up, let's see what we got. That's gorgeous. 
Let's read about it first because I have a bad habit of not following the directions. This is the M1K-8, which stands for the Medium Infantry Knife Fixed Blade K110D2 59-60 Rockwell Hardness Teflon Coated Drop Point Tracker Style. Overall weight of 19.4 ounces. Holy smokes. Again, the packaging on this is sublime. Can you open that up? Boom. You can also store it in there, I imagine, too. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That feels so good. Okay. That's a good looking knife right there. Wow, that feels, it feels rock solid. I like this texturing on the handle. It has my fingers lined up perfectly and it has that subtlety right there. So you can do that thumb impact cuts and that right there is fantastic. So it's gonna lock on to anything that you're cutting through, create a bite. Great balance on this too. I mean, this thing is just very fast in the hand. It comes down to a pretty sharp point. I have mixed feelings about the sharp point on the end, but it's slanted enough that if I needed to do a pressure assisted cut to drive it into a cardboard box, it still allows me to do that without completely putting all that pressure onto my hand. So that's nice, you can still do that. And this is just gorgeous. Again, the grinds on these are fantastic. It does have a thick spine, but then it tapers down really well to a razor sharp edge. Wow, I love that. That's a good looking knife right there. Let's check out the sheath. Ooh, that's a big boy. I love that they give you multiple options for the sheaths. Look at that. You have the mount, the variable mount, and then you also have these loops to slide onto your pack or bag, let's check the retention. That's a solid click right there. Big old drainage hole on there, so anything that gets covered under blades is gonna come out. Nice, I love that. For me, I feel like this would be in the movie uh, The Hunted, you know what I'm saying? That's like a hunted knife, the tractor style. Yeah, that thing is insanely fast. Wow, I love it. Let's go, baby. All right, we got one more in here, got a sheath. The belt attachment, this thing right here. That is insane. Whoa, okay, hang on. Stop, wait a minute. All right, we gotta read about this. It has a sticker on the front, it's so sharp. Same deal, we got the patch, some stickers, business card, and the certificate of authenticity. And this is called the CFK02 Compact Field Knife N690. I like that, so it's a stainless blade, 59 to 60 Rockwell hardness, PVD coated, and stone wash options available. It is the Pical version with a weight of 4.87 ounces. That's a beautiful knife right there. That Pical blade shape is something that we love here. It has the fuller there to help you extract it out of anything you may be going into. Now, even though there's not necessarily a handle on here that's so thin, lightweight, and surprisingly very ergonomic with traction points on here, that's a wicked cool blade. And we have to open up the sheath. These are sharp, that's for sure. There's no doubt about that. And look at how thin and streamlined that is with the jumbo ulti clip on there for ease of mounting. I love the variety of options that they've included on here. That is fantastic. Strong clip, but they also give you that backup tech lock style dots system. All right, I hope I'm putting this in correctly. The sheath is very stiff, so I definitely don't want to slice myself. So we're using some thumb pressure to help get that out. The sheath is very snug on this bad boy. I do see an adjustment point on here so you can adjust the tension, but that is an insanely gorgeous blade. Initially, what I'm thinking is that it gives you some customizable options. For me, I'm already thinking about how I'm gonna mount some sort of like rubber on here in order to increase that traction, but it doesn't necessarily need it. This is very streamlined and it's also easy to clean. I'm sure some people are already thinking about ways that they can do like a paracord wrap handle. But for me, I love doing like a shrink wrap because then you can also store other things in there like survival goodies or EDC items like lock picks. That's a wicked cool discreet package. Again, we have to give a huge thank you to Half Free Blades, Lily and Jonathan over there at the team. Thank you for sending in some of these goodies. I'm looking forward to doing some full reviews on them. And you guys do me a favor. Let me know what would you like to see first. Is the call is it that tanto ring blade is it the breaching axe let me know what your thoughts are if it's your first time here i encourage you to subscribe drop a like share it with a friend who's interested to help grow the channel and while you're there follow us on instagram and tiktok at tactical tavern with all that being said my name is tomas alas thank you again for watching i'm excited to see you in the next video and remember be prepared be practical stay tactical